Game of the Week is brought to you by Lavalley Building Supplies, HR Clough, the Home Energy Specialist, Q-Sarge Heating Oils, and Casasa. Free checking that pays. Ask for Casasa checking at Claremont Savings Bank. Welcome back to Mascoma Valley Regional High School here in Canaan, New Hampshire. Along with Andrew Zerheide, I'm Dave Collins. We start the fourth quarter of play. The Newport Tigers, 42. The Mascoma Valley Regional High School Royals, 12. Newport will have the ball. Fourth down and four coming up for the Tigers as they move now left to right across your TV and computer screens. And the ball is at their own 47-yard line with most of the reserves in for the Tigers. They jumped out to a 35-0 lead with about eight minutes to go in the second quarter, and that's when we started running time, and that's where we are right now. Twelve minutes up on the board as the hey, clock starts. Fourth and four quarter of for Newport, here. and it looks like they will punt. Punt. Farnsworth back deep. High snap. Wobbly kick. This will take a bounce at the 31 and take a Newport Royals bounce. bounce. A Royals bounce, rather, as it goes all the way back to the 40. At the 40, just short of the 40-yard line. So that's where Mascoma will start. 11.38 to play in the fourth quarter. Newport 42. Mascoma 12, first and 10 for the Royals at their 39. YCN Saturday College Game Day Live features three exciting Division I football games every week on YCN. On October 22nd at noon, it's Lehigh at Holy Cross, followed at 3.30 by Eastern Michigan at Western Michigan. And at 7 p.m., it's Old Dominion at Western Kentucky. All those games, triple headers, Saturday afternoon, starting at 12 noon here on YCN. Glad you could join us here for YCN's high school game of the week. Alex Dodge, Greg Ryan on with us here in Canaan. 11 minutes to play in the fourth quarter. 42 to 12, Newport on top. Mascoma with a ball and they lose it again. And it is loose and it looks like a lineman for the Royals jumped on top of it. Give credit to Lucas Getman, the sophomore who I think fell on it. Loss of about two on the play. It'll bring up second down and 12 for the Royals. The Royals results in a loss of a couple yards for a second down and 12. Yeah, that's the last thing the Royals want to do is turn the ball over. I know they're down 30 points. Very little chance they can come back in this one. But still, you want to finish the game off strong. And do as well as you can here in the second half. Second and 12 for Mascoma. Everybody in tight on their formation. And off oh. loose ball once again. And who's got this? Looks like it was picked up by Mascoma, but a loss of two on the play once again. So third down and about 14 coming up for Mascoma. Results in another loss of two yards. You poured up 42 to 12, 10 minutes to go in the fourth. And this team is young, and we mentioned it in the pregame show, Andrew, that uh, they lost a lot of their starters over the course of the season, especially after that first game. And it's, it's tough to recover from that. Even though they had a bye week last week, so did Newport. You know, if you got a serious injury, the season is short. Hagman picked up the pitch, got about two yards, but only up fourth down and long for Mascoma. Yeah, the Royals have had to depend on a lot of players. There's not a ton of experience. Freshman Jacob Hagman. And that's been uh, first carry of the game. pretty obvious today. Jeremy Sawyer. And like you said, I mean, they had a bye week last week, which they desperately needed to try to heal some players. A very short game. But so Fourth far today, the they have not played as well as they'd hoped. Back to punt is Murphy. Gets it off. Low nice line pick. drive. Picked up by O'Brien at his own 40. Streaks to the sidelines, and he's brought down at about the 45. Making the tackle after a very short return. 9 2 remaining. Fourth quarter, 42-12. to Newport on top. They've got the ball. And they'll have it first and 10. And they'll mark him out of bounds at the 46. So Newport first and 10 at their own 46. So after the punt by the Royals. Tigers are going to Our next Monday night high 46 school 46 game of the week line. will be the Yellow Jackets of Windsor traveling to take on the Woodstock Wasps. In two weeks, it's the powers of the division as the John Stark Generals head up I-89 to take on the Marauders of Hanover. We talked about it before. Hanover with a big win over Lebanon. Cruising through right now this season. Newport has it first and 10 at their own 46. Pitch out and a little helmet to helmet contact Warner right there. Horner with a good tackle. No gain on the play. And no gain, so second actually they're going to mark him. We'll mark him back ball, about a second yard. And ten. Second and a long 10 for Newport. 
Down to eight minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Austin Malul has been the quarterback for Newport since the start of the third quarter. Most of the reserves in for the Tigers, moving left to right across your TV screen. Hand off to the 50 and into Mascoma territory. Gain of about six. Newport's number 49 with the gain of... Now we talked about Newport as well, Andrew. A couple yards. of tough losses. Had one on homecoming. Ed Newport against Stevens. Close battle right there, but the Cardinals finally had their number. Let's bring up third down, and we'll call it five. The Tigers at the Mascoma. Just shy of the Mascoma, 47. Facing the Tigers here. And give credit to these Royal players, too. You know, they're the starters. They've got smaller numbers than Newport. They play both ways. They look up at the scoreboard. They're down by 30, but still giving a heck of an effort out there. A little under center. Receivers to either side. Backs in the eye behind him. Third and four. Malul couldn't find anybody to hand it to. Takes it himself. Gains about Malul two yards. Ball comes loose, himself. but the mark him down. Gain of about two, but it was be shy of the, fourth, uh, the, uh, the first, first down. down. It's going to be fourth down coming up. So fourth and two upcoming for the Tigers. In the 45. He had Tigers quarterback there kind of looking left, looking right. No one was there to hand the ball off to, and he just decided to take it himself. Probably a good decision. A little confusion. And now it is fourth and one. It looks like they're lining up to go for it on fourth down. Tigers. Need about a yard. The regular offense the still in chains. there. So fourth and we'll call it a long one for the Tigers. Can the Royals hold here? Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 42 to 12. Tigers with the ball in the lead. Fourth and a long one for Newport. Pitch back. And first down and more as Newport keeps the drive rolling. It's number 49 picking up the first and down. And first and, and 10 at the 48-yard line. Chains move. Yeah, Clock keeps moving, too. Yards on the play. Moves the chains. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR tires. Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the Fruit game. The and we'll pick the top line. performer in today's matchup. So the Tigers just taking their time right now. 5.20 to go in the fourth. They've got the comfortable lead. Malul has done a pretty good job. I mean, as the reserve quarterback, just a freshman listed on our score sheet. He has two receivers to the wide side of the field. See if he maybe goes to the air here. Backs in the eye behind him. Straight ahead quarterback keeper picks up two yards down to the Mascoma 35-yard line. Takes the snap himself and goes up the middle for a gain of a couple yards. Royals on their heels once again. We'll it really, it wasn't a contest game. from the opening play from scrimmage. That's when the Tigers scored first. Right, and then they were going to score 35 unanswered points after that first play. That's where we ended halftime. 35 nothing Newport with a running clock. 42 to 12 right now our score. Newport on top of Scoma. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Pitch back at the 35, making his way to the 30, to the 25, and brought down there. That's enough for a first down. The drive will continue for Newport. And we mentioned these Royals are young and a smaller team. Numbers are good for their other sports, baseball. Buddy of mine, Jonathan Murphy, played baseball for Mascoma. Before the construction, too. Tenure gain. Doing a lot of improvements here in Canaan. And the Newport Tigers have it first and 10 at the 25 of Mascoma. Still on the march as we're down to 336 to play in the fourth. Malou with the handoff straight ahead. That is Cole McNamara, the sophomore. Cole McNamara with Picked up maybe two yards. The handoff up the middle. Like Second down coming up. Just over two. Second down towards three minutes left to play 
Our replays are being brought to you by Kasasa, a free checking that rewards in cash each month. Ask for Kasasa at Claremont Savings Bank. Qualifications and rules apply. See bank for details. Member FDIC. Now a different quarterback. That's Kyle Rossiter, the junior in there, wearing number 19 for Newport. Fumbled the snap. And the ball, and the ball is recovered Royals by Mascoma. Recover. So the drive stalls, and the Royals will have one more chance well, to get some more points on the board. 238, 237 and counting in the fourth quarter. Newport 42, Mascoma 12. And the Royals will have it first and 10 at their own 23. And Dave, I think it's about time to uh, talk about our pick for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the game. And I think we've got to give it to John Tebow of the Newport Tigers, the running back. He oh, scored yeah. three touchdowns today. He's been very good, and also his offensive line has helped him out a lot, but he has been dominant in this game. Well, he's responsible. I mean, you talk about it, he'll have the game-winning touchdowns. He scored two <laughs> within, what, about two minutes early in the game. Right. One on the first play from scrimmage. Royals will try to run it straight up ahead. Now to the 25, maybe the 26-yard line. 42 to 12, Newport Shows leading with 208 remaining here in the fourth quarter the in Canaan. About three on the play. Next week, Windsor and Woodstock here on YCN's Game of the Week, which premieres Monday nights at 7.30 right after YCN News here on your local Second view. And along six for the Royals. And Hawk Sean, the freshman, number 12 in a quarterback. And off this time. Goes to Stone, and well, he gets out to catch a Tory rather. Burger. He's close to the first down with just 95 seconds to play here in the fourth. Jeremy Sawyer. Hagman enters the, the ball game, number two, side. Jacob Hagman. He is a freshman. And Tyler Werner comes off the field. Newport 42, Mascoma 12, Royals with the football. It's third and two from just outside their 30. Pitch back, here's Hagman, can he get anything going? Tries to escape one tackle, drop back at the 30. And he maybe loses a yard and that'll bring up fourth down and four for Mascoma right now with 60 seconds to play in the ball game. Nowhere to go there, Matt Hedig in through yeah, the Yeah, uh, these Tiger the second string players struggle on offense, but on 30. defense they've looked, they've looked all right. They let up a couple of touchdowns, but for the most part, they've shut the Royals down here in the second half. Fourth and four for Mascoma at their own 30. 35 seconds to go in the game. Handoff, and do the Royals have it? Just a pile right there, and it looks like they will have enough. Good for the first down, but the clock will continue to run. 25 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. 42 to 12, Newport on top by 30 points. And that could be the last play of the game. See if the Royals try for one more desperation shot down the field. First and 10 for Mascoma at the 36. Just nine seconds remaining, and it looks like that'll do it. So the Royals will not bother to run another play. Yeah, Newport that's gonna do it for us this afternoon, folks. got out early and often. We and the final score from Royals Canaan fans. this afternoon. Here, Here on Saturday, YCN's Game of the Week. Kearsarge comes to town. Newport, it's going to be home game, which means Mascoma, 12. We'll take a break, give you some final stats, seniors. and a wrap-up from Canaan after this. Tigers win it today, 42-12 uh, to 12 over Mascoma. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. On. Hope to see you next weekend. Thank you. Welcome back to Canaan, New Hampshire, along with Andrew Zerheide. My name is Dave Collins. Final score once again, Newport rolls over Mascoma this afternoon. 42 to 12, some sad Scoma fans in the stands here in Canaan, but a dominant performance by the Tigers. In fact, first play from scrimmage, our player of the game, John Tebow, ran 40 yards for a touchdown, and really Newport never looked back after that. They beat Mascoma today 42 to 12. Stay tuned next week for our YCN Game of the Week, which premieres Monday evenings at 7.30 right after YCN News. Windsor will travel up to Woodstock, you can catch that game Monday night, 7.30, the YCN High School Game of the Week here on YCN. I'd like to thank our producer and also our cameraman today, including Alex Dodge and Greg Urine. 
For Andrew Zerheide, my name is Dave Collins. Final score for the final time here from Canaan, New Hampshire. Newport wins it today 42-12 over Mascoma Valley Regional High School. Thanks to all the sponsors you've been watching. YCN's Game of the Week. Have a great night, everyone. Game of the Week is brought to you by LaValle Building Supplies, HR Clough, The Home Energy Specialist, QSARGE Heating Oils, and Casasa. Free checking that pays. Ask for Casasa checking at Claremont Savings Bank.